healthier with multi-grain rice. For Indonesians, you haven't eaten if you haven't eaten rice. But matters of eating should not only be full, but also nutritious. Even though martabak, pizza, meatballs, fried foods, sponge cakes, donuts, chicken noodles have been devoured and entered the stomach, it is not a full, he said, if it is not accompanied by rice. The jargon of having to eat rice cannot be separated from the fact that rice is one of the staple foods in Indonesia. The forerunner of rice, aka rice, generally thrives in this country. In 2009, Indonesia was even among the top three rice producers in the world. And not only in Indonesia, rice is even lined up as a staple food for more than half of the world's population. Food with the Latin name Oriza sativa or Oriza glabarima is not only a favorite because it tastes delicious and is filling, but also because of the nutrients it contains. In 100 grams of rice there are at least 1,527 kilojoules of energy, 80 grams of carbohydrates, 0.12 grams of sugar, 1.3 grams of fiber, 0.66 grams of fat, 11.61 grams of water and 7.13 grams of protein. Not only that, rice also contains various vitamins and minerals that are useful for the body, such as vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, potassium, and zinc. Rice is also created in various shapes, sizes, and colors. There is rice that is thin, elongated or round in shape, there is also rice that is white, red, brown, black or purple. Unfortunately, rice or white rice is thought to increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. A study showed that those who ate white rice more than 5 times a week had a 17% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes than those who only consumed large portions of white rice. Therefore many people are starting to switch from white rice to brown rice, reducing their consumption of white rice, and trying to mix various kinds of rice with legumes, seeds, nuts, or whole grains. In South Korea, multigrain rice called kongbap has even become a healthy food trend. Multigrain rice itself is a healthy food consisting of rice, wheat, and whole grains. The multigrain rice can vary, ranging from only white rice and peas, a combination of brown rice, peas, red beans, black soybeans, jolly, black glutinous rice, barley and sorghum, or add white rice, brown rice, black rice, green beans, glutinous rice, corn, sesame, and millet. This healthy rice can not only be consumed as a substitute for white rice, but can also be processed into healthy fried rice. Each of these grains of course also has nutritional content and properties that are efficacious for the body. Black rice, for example, contains anthocyanin and antioxidants which are thought to be able to fight cancer, heart disease and other health problems. And according to research, multigrain rice is thought to be more effective than white rice in reducing postprandial glucose levels, blood sugar levels after eating, without increasing insulin secretion.